Hello and a very happy Sunday to all of you all. Now every time I come and I come on Sundays and maybe touch upon something which is happening in and around. So exactly one and a half month when this lockdown was absolutely open and it was open for all. So I experienced two things and that is actually a topic of my episode today and that is the traffic, the traffic etiquettes, on road etiquettes and let me begin. The first day I thought uh, as usual I'll be going on my bike so I commute uh, on my bike as well as sometimes whenever I get my car rainy days but July was the entire month which did not rain much so I was on my bike. As soon as my office got over, I took my bike and I forgot that day because I had something to catch up. The worst possible hurry I was in to catch the next appointment. I was there on the road and suddenly when I crossed my road and I was there on the signal, there were many but I could realize that I should not be spotted by that traffic havaldar because I know for sure that I was not wearing that helmet. I was just counting on the numbers on that sign board, the signal board to go green from red and I would march ahead. Suddenly there appeared this Havaldar. He spotted me and he said, gentlemen, you're not with your helmet. I said, extremely sorry, I have it in my dickey. Can I wear it immediately? What I did was I took my bike aside and then we started into discussion. I said, let me get stand corrected. Traffic rules are yes, I understand, but I'm, I was in a hurry and it's my mistake. Can I stand corrected? He said, nothing doing. He started his mobile and the machine and he asked me that you would be penalized and there's no other alternative, no other way. So I actually obliged. I said, let me wear my helmet and whatever you say, I'll, I'll oblige. I'll, I'll have to. I mean, there's no second way. So I had to incur 500 rupees penalty on that. I begged for some time. I thought, let me at least negotiate, at, me, at least start saying that, give me that opportunity to stand corrected, which I did eventually, but he did not stop. So I like that. Last word that he uttered before I left that place was, now you can be absolutely helmet free for the day because once chalan, you cannot be chalan twice for the same reason, which I stated back and said that, no, I realize my mistake. I would never do it. I have never done in my past, but this will be a big, big mistake which I'll not carry it further and maybe turn it into a blunder. So that was one instance. The second day when it rained, I actually started my uh, journey to home back from the office and where I stopped, it was very close to where I was Chalan the first time. So the signal went green, green and I was in a queue. There were five to six cars and a lot of two wheelers in, you know, in the front and they were taking their turn as I was applying my vehicle and suddenly it got yellow. The moment it got yellow from green to yellow, the first thing that I observed was the car in the front applied brake twice for no reason. I don't know. He was in the middle and he was turning right inside and my indicator was also right inside. I somehow managed to apply a brake in time without getting the dash and I realized that it was already yellow. The time that he was just few centimeters away from me and I was taking my right turn. He was also, I was just following him, maybe turning more closer towards the extreme right hand side and suddenly the uh, Havaldar appeared, the RTO gentleman appeared and he saw me. He said, nothing doing, you can come aside. I just uh, stayed calm and I went on with an argument. I said, gentlemen, I know I am, I have crossed this during yellow, but my intention was not to cross this during yellow. The gentleman ahead of me applied brakes twice in the middle of my turn and that actually did not give me a part, you know, good scope to cross, the, cross my vehicle from green to yellow. I made my point, he understood, he immediately took a chalan, that machine, you know, th these guys have that machine. So they, he immediately uh, asked from the control room to get the number of that vehicle and he chalan him 1200 rupees. He showed it to me. I was going with my negotiation skills. I said, uh, sir, I accept my folly, but can you minimize? Can you do something? Can you just, I don't say, uh, I would not say that, you know, do, do not penalize me for whatever that you can possibly do and understand my part of the bargain. So this gentleman 
came out uh, with the minimum charge that he can possibly do but it was was shown on my face it was slapped on my face so i got penalized twice continuously two days but when i see the irony i definitely make a point here if the government is listening can we have a better version of just having a traffic rule as per the system driven right you have cctv tv cameras you have the uh, laws abiding can we have all these traffic havaldars only meant or the job is to teach to make people aware about traffic rules for example rto says that you need to walk from the right hand side it should not be the left hand side but people walk taking always the left hand side as india is you know left hand drive so people also believe that it's a left hand you need to be walking on the left side of the pedestrian walkway but it's not the fact also i strongly believe that there are, there are auto rickshaw on the road they know that they have the strongest vehicle so they turn they turn very brutally bluntly and many a times i see people falling and they getting injured every day my journey from my home is actually a a great lesson a smiling laughter lesson i take out uh, my vehicle and the first thing that i do is i keep honking not for the wrong reason for the reason that i have lot of turns and every time i see there is always a surprise either a gentleman or a lady or a zomato guy you know finding the middle of the road and then plying the apathy is when i'm following a lady irrespective of their age i see that they turn they they keep their legs as if their wings you know the wings are going to fly they are above that vehicle perhaps not actually flying the vehicle but they are actually riding something called as ferry <laughs> and uh, the moment when they are slow i just need to figure out where they are looking at because the indicators are never on so if they are looking on the left hand side i might guess that it might she might take a left turn or right right turn when she stops it is actually trying to maybe think and go any direction so you need to very closely follow all the ladies the auto wallas the best part is the uh, when you move ahead you see a lot of people you know making a one side discussion you know phone on one side and then they they are riding their bike as if this they are they are the only people existing in this world right you need to bother them then there are, there are cycle wallas nowadays fashion uh, you know cycling so Uh, people they just show their right hand and then they move there are still more strangers you know they just keep talking on the phone and then they they say stop gentlemen you are not supposed to ride on this road this is mine and i'm crossing the road don't you see it so you need to be slower i am not i'm not going to dare you stop there so likewise when you go and still find people you know only a boy and a girl they are doing the mid road conference my god mid road conference and the and the girl is on the extreme right hand side how dare these guys they don't think of that girl and they keep on talking discussing something very important maybe more than uh, anything important than modi ji has in his mind right more than the pandemic and the, the these guys i see they do not protect that girl and why the hell they are talking mid road they can always come aside take their time talk and then go alone right i have seen plenty of maskless people these days on the road my god what will happen to them and the best part is there there are erratic drivers on the road erratic commuters on the road be it walking or maybe plying any vehicle for that matter you see these st buses they do not have any indicator they can drive any time left blunt whether there is a bus stand or not even if there is a one passenger sitting or standing for the bus and if it, it he signals or she signals the the bus needs to stop there and there itself it is a very wrong story because many people who overtake they normally do it they undertake rather on the left hand side which is absolutely wrong and many a times accident happens it occurs accidents that are spot on the road they do not happen for, from your side many a times it is the other side who bangs upon you and it is sure the negligence the ignorance without knowing the traffic rules without minding the others also that they are on road it's a public place it's a utility place where others are also going to be there essentially what i'm drawing your all attention towards is traffic rule is something which is going for a toss traffic rule is something that we all need to obey and if there is a system driven thing traffic is there for us to only follow and maybe reach your destination a 2 minute or a 5 minute late but 
reach intact remember you have your family your kids your parent your wife your entire family to take care of and if you do such kind of a folly you are not at fault alone there are people who get killed who get wounded and badly wounded you know to an extent that their limbs or maybe extremities are at uh, at, at, at a damage my request from this platform is please obey traffic rule not only for you for others as well if we all start from ourselves i think wherever in india make one good thing after pandemic our mindset needs to be calm we cannot fight with everyone on road at least be in control and drive safely safety is something which india needs at all point of time because we have lost enough lives i don't want anybody to die on road just because of the folly of theirs or others i hope you'll think about it thank you